Good day everyone! I will be your reporter for the semiotics or the sign language topic. But before we start to our lesson proper, let's have a little fun in the game that I prepared for us. Let's start. So this game entitled My Value, wherein you need to identify what is the signifier and the thing being signified. Is that alright? This is a poster of a dog. Identify which is the signifier and the thing being signified in this picture. Another one is a picture of the sign of a McDonald's. Identify which is the signifier and the thing being signified in this picture. After this game, I hope that some of you or all of you get an insight about the topic that we're going to discuss. So let's get started to our last proper. So have you ever heard, read, or see a sign language? So first, let's define language. Language is the fundamental element in communicating. Writing and speaking is the most commonly used and the sign is an exemption for the use of deaf people. Also, it has a different types, the writing, speaking, and even giving a sign. So meaning, a sign makes the mind of an individual open to their consciousness in different aspects. Semiotics or semiology, a sign that is used by the interpreter of the sign on anything that communicates a meaning that is not the sign itself. The meaning can be intentional such as a word uttered with a specific purpose or unintentional such as a sign of a particular medical condition being a symptom. Through any of the senses, visual, auditory, tactile, olfactory, or even taste. In short, semiotics is the study of signs and sign using behavior or symbols. And also, it is a sign that can stand in anything for something other than itself within a particular culture. Furthermore, it is also a sign system which explores how words and other signs create meaning in the society. Ferdinand de Saussure Findings and Theory in Semiotic he defined the semiotics as the life of science within society. Sarsu treated the language as a science system. In fact, his works in linguistics supplied the concept and methods that semioticians applied to science systems other than language. In addition, Sarsu gives the two inseparable components of a sign. In fact, he wants to imply to the theory he made that the signifier that is being used and the thing that is being signified by a signifier cannot be separated in giving meaning to a particular thing, specifically in the use of an individual in speaking, writing, and giving a sign for a deaf people. Meaning, the sign is being born because of the society and people in the society consciousness open because of the signs. To sum up, without people, there will be no sign and no sign, the people in the society will not establish their deep consciousness. Also, according to Saussure, the relation of signifier and signified is arbitrary, meaning there is no real connection to the word you used in describing and to the thing you are actually describing. For example, a table in English and an una mesa in Spanish. The, the language or signifier or significant it is the thing or the idea that the people used to communicate and evoke, while the other one is the la parole, the signified or the signify. It is the concept or idea behind the sign. Charles Sanders Peirce's Findings and Definition of Semiotics Peirce stated that a sign is something which stands to somebody for something. Also, Peirce indicated that a sign will never have a fixed meaning, for the meaning must be continuously qualified. Meaning, Pierce states that in every sign in the society, there has a unique meaning, no one can hold it to be fixed. For example, in our country, love is family, while in another country, love is the feeling that a person can feel. Did you get it? Meaning, no one can state that their meaning is the only right meaning for a particular sign that is being given. Another example 
is a dog. For me, a dog is a best friend that I can lay on when I am sad. While for others, a dog is just an animal to be fed and to secure the house. These are some examples of the signifier and the thing being signified. A picture of a fire with smoke. The signifier is the smoke and the fire is being signified by the smoke. Another example is an image of a footprint in the sand. The signifier is the person who make or left the footprint while the footprint is the one that is being signified in the picture. Take note that I use only pictures so everyone could easily understand it and create a thought about the picture. But it can be a written word or it can be also voiced out just like a normal communication of a people in the society. Do not worry! Because in the PPT that I presented, I provided some links that you can use to source to have further knowledge about semiotics or the sign language. There's a video where you, it presented the signifier and the, signif the thing being signified and also some info in the icon, symbol, and in the sign. That's all. Thank you. I hope that you got knowledge and learn some things about my report. Thank you again. Goodbye. Have a good day and blessed day.